Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single soldier permission. And since it's not going super well, beginning of month number three, the um, game offers us a peace treaty. It is offering us a really easy mission to get an engineer, a specialist, and a ranger. If we could pull this one off, it would be awesome. We can use the Engineer really, really well. 100 Intel is nothing to sneeze at. And getting um, two soldiers on top of it is super valuable. I am thinking whether or not I want to take the Grenadier into it. Not 100% sure. The weapon damage is fine, but I think if we are fighting sectoids, I wouldn't know how to respond. And his grenades pull even more loss, which are a very double-edged sword. So we're going in with Roby only. I am hoping that we can pull it off. But the chances are very low. And here we go. Okay. So we got to be very careful here. Soon as we trigger something, this mission could go very, very badly. So I will try to sneak my way to this uh, to the engineer, and then somewhat take it from there. I'm preferring to use the the houses here, as no one is up there. So might as well move over here and just pass this uh, one um, advent pot down there. Silently moving in. Let's open the doors here. And get to the VIP. I wish we had more room up here so that we could get closer to the target. But apparently that's not possible. I mean, we do have a single soldier here and here. This one here is probably way easier to get. We need to secure the other contacts because otherwise I don't believe that we can make it up to the evac point. As soon as I do have two soldiers, we might even be able to yeah, somewhat take a fight. How could we reach him? So there seems to be a letter up here, but that is difficult to reach. Might as well try to get into this house here, but there is no way to to get up here so we couldn't get to the top floor except through this one letter 
which is already good because if we fight loss, that's exactly the, si uh, the type of letter that you would want to find. Overwatch, hunker down. Oh boy, two packs. Well, that's a lot. Don't want to trigger two of them. We're waiting. So theoretically one can see through here, through here. Move to here and then just hunker down if we're triggering too much. I really want to get the soldier. We're visible here. Okay, that's not the end of the world. That is not the end of the world. Might as well move all the way into here. As long as we're not triggering the pack, we really should be fine. See, that's what I don't understand. They're not triggering uh, with the scientist, but uh, with the, the engineer. But as soon as Roby is moving up, they are just swarming on us. We're blocking the ladder. Okay, so they double moved. Keep in mind there are three more right behind uh, the container. Could move all the way up to here. Here that would definitely trigger, but we could move up to here. Oh, we can't even melee attack uh, the sector down here. Interesting. Well, we can't kill him unless we're hitting a critical strike, so it's uh, sub 20%. Might as well want to soften up uh, the sector. And if we hit him, which we do, 
we have the opportunity to go in and finish him. I think we don't need to do that now. Not yet. But having the opportunity is good. We're baiting them and firing onto our um, VIP. Now uh, that's a problem. I have to deal with them now. And the swarm doesn't make it any easier. Okay, we need the second soldier, which means our VIP will trigger him. Also blocking the ladder for the remaining swarm. Shit, we triggered another pack. Okay, gotta be very careful how to how to act now. Let's start. One down. Two down. Reloading. I think we gotta go for the stun monster. Let's see how, any other way. Some answer is super, super dangerous. Let's think that through. We can position ourselves here. Can't leave the VIP alone, so... Position ourselves here and then throw a grenade over here, trying to get this piece to break so that the Sun Lancer falls down. That's damage plus falling down, and the Sun Lancer cannot engage on us anymore because both of the entrance points are blocked. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter how many losses you're pulling. Situation is already fully out of control. Well, this would remove our cover as well, so it's a really bad idea. This here would let the VIP drop, maybe. Problem is we are running out of options. That was bad. 
Really, really bad. Mind controlled. Edwin is fighting against the lost. Okay, Stun Dancer moves in, that's good. Besides the obvious lamentable situation with the mind control. The entire round was way better than expected. Now I would be hoping that the losts are dealing a substantial amount of damage. There we go, so much for the mind control. Is anyone hitting the Sun Lancer, please? Sun Lancer still stands, okay. Roby needs to heal himself. Could kill this guy here and really move a little bit back. I think our scientist needs to absolutely move away. Killing only the ones that might be a problem for us. So if we were to position ourselves back here. That's an option. This here is another really nice option, killing the stun answer. I think we're going to do that. First of all, let's get rid of the trooper. We need to get rid of the stun lancer. Even more losts are coming, okay. Keep him coming, keep him coming. There's another soldier right over there. Pretty far away though. Let's kill the Sun Lancer. This guy has uh, focused on Roby, pretty much zoomed in instead of going for any of uh, the loss here. If we are lucky, we uh, the losses are going to hit him. They are merely vulnerable.
I wouldn't say that we do have a solid position, but we are somewhat like leaving the loss right within the advent. And that means they might go and kill some of them. All right, this guy's almost down. Nice. Unfortunately, only one hit. I was hoping for more. Oh, yeah, that was good. Hmm, what are we going to do with Roby? Want to get him away from here. So let's open the door. Could move in, could try to kill this guy, but would then expose ourselves over here. Probably not worth it. We might as well position ourselves behind the crate. So let's kill this lost one here and keep on moving. I'll leave the lost swarm just right in the middle of uh, Advent. So they need to deal with it. If we get enough losts, they might even be able to kill Advent. Another lost swarm appears, okay. Ah, that's the wrong direction. Well, some of them moved into Advent's direction, so I think it's not the worst. They are randomly targeting, and that's a bit of a bummer. Specifically, the sectoids, which are so susceptible for melee attacks they would be great targets Three to five is not enough damage. Zombie might die. Yeah, we can't. We can't just outrun them. So back to the drawing board.
Hmm. Yeah, we gotta kill the zombie. I was hoping the sector would would be dead by now. Taking another shot would be too risky. 75% is not high enough. Zombies can deal up to six points of damage. So that could be a one hit KO. That was into half cover. <sighs> Again. I hope that the sector will be killed by loss. There are plenty around. So might as well target one sector at each. We are standing in full cover. Now this is what counts. We, the lost need to kill the sectors. I need a bit RNG luck. Very good. Very good. Both of the sectoids are down. We're in a tough spot. I really would want to motor and move. Not sure if we can do it. All right, that's a pretty decent position, to be honest. Very good. Moving back even further. And we're on our way to leave this uh, mission here. These two here are in a pretty dire spot. Although they are cleaning up quite well. <laughs> Maybe not as dire as I thought. RNG was on their side.
Good, we're not going to leave this round, meaning we might as well stand our ground. So we're going to take an overwatch shot here because the guy has seven hit points. And it's almost impossible for us to kill. Well, so much for our overwatch. At least it was a hit. I mean, I could try to get the other soldier. We have already triggered all of the enemies. Obi needs to reload. It's a hundred percent kill. be standing in the open though. Obi is flanked and I can't let that happen. So let's move into cover. Far enough away from either side to not be in trouble. Come on, shoot this guy here. Don't shoot Ro Roby for fuck's sake. I think we gotta kill those two clowns. Yet another swarm appears. Unfortunate. If he could have killed him, that would have been even better. Would have solved another issue of ours. Oh, finally. There are no additional VIPs or resistance operatives working in that area. You should be clear to move for extraction. Target eliminated. It's down. My ammo's running low. Target neutralized. Let's rock. 
Ah, well, the stairs here might be a problem. One down. This here is a nice little flanking position. Good. Problem solved. Make sure that the losts are not going to climb up this ladder. Good, very good. <laughs> We're cleaning house. Okay, we could just move up here and block the ladder. I think we're going to do exactly that. Let's get out of trouble. Matter of fact, let's get out of the entire mission. Okay, it seems as if everyone can reach the extraction zone. Whew, what a mission! We were kiting the mob of Advent through um, through this massive mob of loss, and they eventually were killing one another. 51 kills. Mind you, on a lone wolf mission. Of course, not everything uh, was uh, done by Roby, but that's a lot of kills. There we go, 24 days of wounding and pretty much mentally shattered, but we're going to get a Blade Master out of it. Extra damage, single handedly now being able to kill Sectoids in one strike. Nice. So, first things first. We got Lisbeth Decker, starting with clearing the alien debris. 
And we got two corporal soldiers. A heavily injured specialist. Medkit isn't bad. I mean, combat protocol isn't bad either. I think we could go with medkit. And for him, Blade Master. Let's color code him. Much better. There we go. So we got a few, uh, two rangers and one sp uh, specialist to work with. All of them corporals. Which at least means that our missions will have sufficient staffing for now. <laughs> Look at that, even more supplies. So we've gotten quite a bit into. That was helpful, very, very helpful. Now, Yeah, perfect. We don't even want to fight uh, fight an alien ruler right now. That's completely out of our league. <coughs> nice. So we got improved pistols. Experience gained. A little bit will increase. That's not bad. Let's see. Still can't locate the Reapers. Deeper learning definitely would be an option. Intel, however, would probably be better. Oh, wait. We need to create the bond between both of them. Yep, confirm the bond. Thank you. Now back to the resistance ring, covert actions. If we're looking for Intel, I wonder, normally if bondmates are doing the missions, the duration should uh, decrease by one. That's probably for the higher bond levels. Well, still eight more days to do the next mission. I We don't really need the hacking. The intel is nice because we will lose our um, the access to our regions, getting some extra intel is not the worst idea. Could even spend some intel to buy a scientist. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Commander, with the advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform Good. autopsy at two plus one. I like the idea of magnetic weapons, but 63 days is just completely nonsense. We need more uh, scientists for that. Might as well go for the Advent Officer. That'll allow us to research Advent Stun Lancers as well for improved weapons and uh, get the defense matrix a little bit, matrix a little bit later. I am I am really thinking about whether or not we should get a scientist with the intel that we do have available. The other alternative is making contact to another region. Oh, there is a scientist. 
Never mind. The scientist takes priority. Game sees that we do uh, that we're too short on scientists, so it offers us one. Well, several of these uh, these uh, things are really really cool, but we cannot use anything for the time being. Might as well start to train another specialist. I want to keep our other rookies here at Galleon Poe, Mitch, and Zirkim. A little bit back, maybe we can get the uh, resistance operative, uh, the resistance order that allows us to train people into um, into sergeant rank right away. That way, they could uh, they could get reasonably um, high experience ranks. And there we go. Recover an item from the advent train. Mm. It's going to be an interesting mission. We can counter the dark event, but we're probably not going to get uh, the extra supplies. Any mission timer will not start until the squad breaks concealment. That's good because uh, that is exactly what we're uh, trying to do. We're going to go in and try to basically hack the station. Anyways, that's going to happen in the next mission. That was an exhausting, really hard fought battle. And I hope um, that we're now going to get some better uh, covered ops missions because this run here will not only be decided on the guerrilla ops side, we also need to get the, the right <coughs> covert ops missions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. Question of uh, this episode is which weapon is your favorite weapon and uh, can I use that weapon in this run? Um, maybe you have an interesting opinion. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next run. Bye bye.